Vision Incision. Mm -hmm. It's a strong title. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with so, it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's it was powerful. A good, it was a good title for once. <laughs> um, what I think is just, you know, it synthesizes three basic steps of the production aspect of, of the work itself, which many artists might go through. Um, except for the incision aspect, which is intrinsic to working with metal or wood. Mm -hmm. Your work has, for the most part, fingerprints. Yeah. Where did that idea come from? What do these fingerprints represent to you? The idea of the print itself is uh, a synthesis of the figure. So I've been trained much because of my own choice. I liked it, you know, traditionally in portrait and figure. Mm -hmm. and. At one point, I decided that I wanted to adopt a more minimal approach. And so that's where the print became, you know, the essence, you know, without necessarily going into, you know, DNA strands, which wouldn't be particularly appealing visually, not to me. Whereas the print, you know, being it has this universal shape, being that it has a linear composition, which would marry particularly well with the idea of text. Mm -hmm. It was ideal in the sense that it, it, it would grant me the possibility of merging different aspects of different things that I appreciate about art into one. The more contradicting a piece, the more interesting to me. Sure. So yes, the material is industrial. The fingerprint is, is you know, it's human and it's warm. And then the color itself brings this aspect of intimacy and warmth and just a human approach and how we can really manipulate whatever we touch into the direction that we choose for it. There's a very important uh, text and narrative component to your work. Is yes. it full textuality? It is a narrative. It is a narrative. It is um, The natural shape of the print might interrupt that narrative at one point. So it's, I'm not going for a perfect flow. Okay. Otherwise, I would have chosen a piece of paper, you know, just to be, you know, inequivocally right. Um, whether I write the print or one of the people that give me the print writes the print, is the idea is always to offer you a view into into my life or my opinions or you know just the events that surround us in general. And I suggest we go take a look at those artworks and you tell me a little more about each one of them, okay. the discourse. Thank you. The reason why this piece is particularly close to me is because of also the combination of, of these new passages, the combination of, of thematically of what I discussed and I wrote about, and just the fact that it's, it's fairly minimal, you know, it only offers a couple of colors, you know, it's nothing, it's not too impactful, but at the end of the day, you just have the material itself and one color over it, and the glazing technique, you know, and so forth. So how does that, how do you work with those like very, very simple elements? What this discusses is the views of a young person, you know, coming, you know, from from a northern, uh, northern African country, you know, aspiring, you know, to have a simple life, you know, in Europe. 